Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, I feel like, look, you're about to get your justice, yes. This person from your past, they are about to return, okay? Um, I feel like this is a player who, um, they played you in the past, but I feel like they're still a player. And I feel like spirit is saying to run, not walk from this person, okay? Um, run, don't walk. Because here's the thing, they've gotten themselves in a mess and they want you to fix them. They want you to fix the mess. They want you to heal them, okay? Um, they want to come back together with you. All right, they see this as a soulmate connection. This is a very intense soulmate connection, but they think that you're the answer to all of their problems, okay? So this person got themselves wrapped up into something, okay? They feel very stuck, but they are still very much a player. Um, yeah, so I feel like here's the thing. You've been crowned and they haven't. I feel like they're still kind of under judgment here, okay? Um, but spirit, I, I feel like you've been anointed or you've been, you've been crowned. You're of royal blood. And this person um, from your past, they're in some kind of world of hurt. They could be, uh, they could have some kind of health issue. They could be experiencing um, like a lot of money troubles, okay? They could even have some kind of legal issue. So spirit is like, run, don't walk. See how um, you're running away here. Run, don't walk. Um, spirit is like, just, just keep coming to us. You know what I mean? I feel like this person thinks that you're going to save them from something or you're going to make everything all better. And spirit is like, no, we've already made everything better for you, collective. You're crowned. You're of royal blood. And this person, this person from your past, mm -mm, no. I, I feel like, um, yeah, and I feel like you're pledged to the divine. So you're, you're uh, being loyal to the divine, okay? Yeah, see, this person, they're only coming to take what you've got. And spirit is like, no, you know what? Um, they can't have what you and I have built together. That's what God is saying. Because you have to be spiritually led to build this nine of pentacles, okay? Um, and I feel like you're, you're cultivating it. You're, you're nurturing something that's growing here into a huge success. It's brought you to, your, to a lot of success and abundance. And this person wants to come in and take it from you. Okay, do you see how they're how they've got they've got see what used to be in this are all these jewels. This cup is empty because there were jewels in that cup. Okay, and this person is stealing them and they want to leave you with a completely empty cup. Okay? They're going to come in with a cup. They're going to be like I'm so sorry. You know, please save me. I want to come back, right? Because they really just want your energy or they want what you've created and built for yourself. But this person, what's in that cup, you can't see it from here, but spirit showing you that's an empty cup. That's an empty cup. And they're only wanting your abundance. They're only coming in for the jewels. Some, somehow they want you to save them and they know that you've got what they need. You know, and spirits like, now wait though, you're crowned, you're of royal blood, and we're sending in someone else for you who's going to fight. See, here's this person from your past, and I feel like this is the new person coming in to defend you, to protect you. Yeah, you've got someone new coming in, and this person from your past is going to be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you can't be with anyone else, okay? Um, yeah, that's why I feel like there's a, they're going to want to fight this new person. So I feel like spirit is saying, run, don't walk from this person, um, from this past person, because they're only wanting your abundance. 
They only want to take your energy. They want you to coo them and make their life all better again. And they'll, they'll, uh, they'll take your abundance and run. Okay? So spirit's like, no, this person's not worthy, right? Of, of you and this connection and everything that you've built for yourself. So spirit, they send in someone new and your person tries to fight them. Okay, and, and spirit wants you to be with this new person. Look at this. So you've got someone new that you're about to meet or maybe that you've already met. Um, I'm also seeing travel in your future, okay? So um, maybe this new person may want to show you the world, okay? I'm telling you, they may want to travel with you or they may be um, a foreigner, something like that. But yeah, you're about to you're about to have a new beginning, and I feel like um, your energy, you're proud of all that you've created. You know who you are. You don't mind looking at yourself, okay? But this person um, from your past, yeah, they're not looking at themselves. They're not trying to fix their own life. They want to come in and have you fix their life, okay? And if this person does come forward, spirit is going to make it so that they completely botch their apology. Okay? The, you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sagittarius, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah. Maybe Libra. You could be a Libra. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, spirit, if they do come towards you with an apology, they're going to they're going to ruin it. And I feel like you're going to yeah, you're going to send this person off. You're going to be like, "Get off of my lawn." You go uh you go be with the rest of your karmic friends and family, okay? Something like that. Yeah, you'll send this person away and they'll be feeling like a fool. And it'll be over. Either way, it's going to be over for this person. And I feel like they, they kind of know that. They either have to suffer the karma, whatever mess they're wrapped in into. They either have to suffer through that and uh, by themselves. Or they're going to come to you and you're going to boot them off of your yard. They're going to, they're going to um, completely screw up their apology somehow. Either way, this person's going to get their karma, okay? And either way, you're going to get someone new who's going to defend you and love you the right way. Yeah, because all they want to do is betray you. And they, I feel like they've done this to you before. Maybe this person thinks that they can continuously come in and out like a revolving door and, and use you, um, take advantage of you, walk all over you. Um, I feel like they, they don't have any problem getting in the middle of a new connection. This is somebody who will sabotage whatever good thing you've got going on. Okay? Whether it's love or um, your abundance and stability, they will take advantage of that. And they don't care. Look at how they're smiling about it. They don't care. They're, they're about to get their karma. Okay? Yeah, and I feel like they'll take what you've got and, and um, do something with it uh, for themselves. This is somebody, I feel like they're very selfish. Yeah, this person, they're being warned to stay away from you. That's what this little dog is doing, is warning this person. You know, but they're actually going to fall, right? They're going to end up a major fool. What did this person do? What kind of bind are they in? I'm being led to use a different deck. Sorry. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Sagittarius, Pisces. Those are the three main signs I've got for this person. Okay, well, they... I don't know what that was. There was a, a noise behind me, and I don't know what it is. Um, they are... This is a Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. 
and I feel like they were messing with a divine being. Queen of Cups energy, you were the Holy Grail couple love for this person. I feel like you're the divine being. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Gemini. Okay, you gave this person your love. I feel like they played you. This was a player, in and out energy, just wanting some passion. They took advantage of you and they didn't know who they were messing with. Okay, you're a divine feminine. Yeah, they used you. They put you in a third party. They betrayed you. They broke your heart. They sacrificed you. They broke the heart of, a, of their divine counterpart, um, a divine being. I'm getting the sense that, look, you're their cup. This was a blessing. You're the Holy Grail cup of love. And you gave your love to this person. It was unconditional love. And I feel like they just, um, yeah, I feel like this person walked away from you. Cho maybe chose someone else over you, left you out in the cold. Yes, all of this is true. Okay, spirit has seen it all. All right, with judgment out here, spirit had, spirit knows your whole story. And I feel like they left you behind with no communication, just, just left you out in the cold. And you gave them the most beautiful love. You, you um, really, truly are the holy grail couple love here. So now this person, I don't know, maybe that's why they're suffering their karma. Yeah, now... Um, you are in the Ten of Pentacles energy, being blessed. But what did this person do? What did they do that's got them into some kind of trouble? Yeah, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person made some kind of risk. Oh, they they made some people angry. There's a lot of people that are coming after this person. Why are they coming after this person? It could have something to do with money. Okay, they could owe a lot of money. Yeah, this person was a fool. I feel like they took advantage of other people. I feel like they owe some people some money. And people are going to come in and whoop this person's butt. They're, it's almost like they're being hunted down. What did this person do that's got them in, uh, in a bind? What did they do? That's got them in trouble. What did they do that's got them in trouble? I'm kind of getting the sense that somebody tried to cheat someone out of their money or out of their business, okay? Or they could have borrowed some money that they can't pay back now i don't i don't know why i'm feeling either cheating or borrowing okay um yeah begging borrowing and stealing right i don't know what they did it has something to do with money but i feel like they 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 had some kind of loan or they borrowed a lot of money and now they can't pay it back and that's why they're coming in. Yeah, that's why they're coming in for all of your jewels, all everything that you've created. What did this person do? They're really stressed out about it. There could be a lot of people that are hunting this person down. They're coming after this person. Oh, boy. They're praying because they know, oof, they know this group is going to bring them down. This group could actually honestly... They could actually end up like this person's really worried that they wanted that these this group wants to do the worst to them. Okay, and they know it's coming in. They know it's coming. Like there's a group of people that may even be threat like saying that they want to unalive this person. Okay. They're worried. What did they do? Did they like, I don't know, did they go to loan sharks or something? Because there's a group of people that want to literally um, hurt this person. 
okay? And this is why they're coming to you, but they're coming to you with an empty cup. Yeah, please help me kind of thing. Like, their first thought is to come to you. Maybe you've always been strong for this person. You've always been the voice of reason for this person. Um, maybe you've always, you know, you've always been there for them, okay? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, but they want your abundance. They, they need your financial help here because they owe some people money who are wanting to do something, some harm to this person bad, and they're scared now. So now they've, the bind that they got themselves into is they, they, they're doing reckless things or they made some kind of impulsive, reckless move to um, get some kind of loan from some shady people and now they can't pay it back. These people are coming after them, okay, and they mean to do them harm, okay? They want payment in one form or another, okay, and this person is scared, okay? because they know it's coming and they want to come to you and pretend that they want to get back together for love but it's actually for money okay to save their butt yes you could be a leo or dealing with a leo leo aries sagittarius yeah, this person's under major judgment, though. King of Cups energy, boy, they're going to, I feel like they're going to lay it on thick because they're scared. They're going to be kind of begging and pleading, okay? They're going to be pulling on your heartstrings, right? Getting you to want to help them. That's what they're going to try to convince you that you, you really want to help them, okay? You know, um, yeah, they're going to be begging. They may even cry. Um, begging for your forgiveness, please. Can we get back together? Can we get back together? I, they're going to be making empty promises to you. I want to be loyal. I want to build a life with you. I don't want to lose you. I want you forever. But really what they're coming in for is your money. Okay, what they're coming in for is your money. Yeah. This is somebody who is fairly opportunistic, um, selfish as well, okay? Because they really don't plan on giving you anything. Um, yeah, but they are stuck in something, see? And I, the only idea they have is to come to you. Yep, and you're moving on. Yeah, you, you've got what they need. Oh, yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. You're an empress. You're very financially stable, very abundant, successful. You've got what they need. They need that. What's in your hand. <laughs> yeah, they do. But geez, you know, they betrayed you. And uh, they're planning on doing it again. And you're already moving on from this person. Yeah, I feel like this person, look, they betrayed you. They betrayed you, backstabbed you. They could have said some nasty things to you. They, they made sure that this, there was an end to this connection. Okay? I feel like it was their fault. And now they want you for financial help. Yeah, that's a big no. 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 They're, look, they're laying here right now. Currently, this person is thinking about what they're going to say. They're trying to plan what they're going to say, how they're going to say it. Okay? I feel like this person is scared. Um, and they know they're being hunted down by a group of people uh, that want to hurt them because of this money. Mm -mm. It's not your responsibility to fix this person. Okay? Do not get involved. Like Spirit said, walk, don't run. Okay, yeah, let's show you the card again, if I can find it. Or, I'm sorry, run, don't walk. That's what I meant to say. Run from this person, don't walk. Sorry, I said it wrong. <laughs> yeah, they are not for you. This person is not for you, collective. 
They're coming in with really bad intentions, hidden motives. They're selfish. They're not going to tell you the truth. Okay, they're probably not going to tell you why they need this money from you. They may just up and take it from you when you're not looking. You know, yeah, this person's just going to keep you stuck in stagnancy, a never-ending story. Like, they're going to make you go backwards, okay? And you don't want that. All right, so, yeah, this is a big warning. Run, don't walk from this person, okay? Yeah, just keep moving forward. See, and there's that crown because you've been crowned. You know, and this is a cycle that's coming to an end. You're headed straight into a celebration time. Spirit is celebrating all that you've conquered. You know, um, they're celebrating you on the 5D. So Spirit is like, just go ahead and cross through this portal, right? Start a new life. Focus on that. Okay, focus on that. Yeah, release this person. Release them. Come to the edge, let them go, start something new, right? Start a new cycle, because these blessings are for you and not them. See, you've had blessings stored for you in the 5D, okay? And Spirit wanted you to get crowned before you got them. They wanted you to learn your lessons, pass all your tests, okay, which you did. This person has not. See, there's no crown on this person's head. There's no crown on their head. There's a bandage on them. There's only a crown on your head here. Okay? They're still under judgment because they keep screwing up. So you've been crowned. You need to leave that darker energy behind or that um, negative, this negative person. I, they've got hidden motives. They're going to be sweet. They're going to be... Man, they're going to be pulling out all the stops to try to get you back because, see, at this point, they're seeing you as, like, their only chance to survive. Uh, they are about to be, uh, like, attacked by a group of people here because of this money that they don't have. You know, they're, they're um, spending a lot of time rehearsing what they're going to say in the hopes that they can come back and take everything that you've got. Yeah, Spirit's like, all of this is for you. For you. You've been crowned. You get the blessings. Release this person. They are not for you. Okay? Yeah, beware of this person, collective. All right? 